<laughs> Five minutes later, I'm going to change. Three, Three go. Four. Let's go. What's going on, guys? I am here at One Gym. We're just about to smash a back and biceps workout. I'm here with my training partner, Louis, also one of my clients. Um, pretty much at my peak off season now, with a couple more weeks to go before we kind of pull things down, hit a bit of a mini cut. So it's gonna take you through my workout. Yep. <laughs> And at the end, we'll have a cheeky little physique update, see what I'm looking like. All right, so we're gonna start the workout. We've got this uh, machine row here. Um, we're gonna do like a dead stop variation where we pretty much put it down at the start of every rep. So putting it down, re-engage, row. This is our first exercise, so we're gonna do quite a lot of warm-up sets to build up to a top set. Uh, we're gonna work up to a heavy set of eight. And again, what we'll do is we'll do quite a few warm-up weights starting off pretty light doing about 10 reps and then as we increase the weight we'll drop the reps down so that we can work up to that weight prime our nervous system but also not tire ourselves out either you don't want to just continue to do like lots of reps as you warm up as you'll be pretty tired by the time you get here 160 or well, did you do more I did, you did more. I did more i got to sorry it's kind of much stronger than me this one <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Good. Nice. Good, come on. Oh. Come on, Louis. Let's go. Oh, fuck. All right, guys. First working set. We're going to aim pretty heavy, seven to eight reps. So this exercise, we've got two sets. We did our top set, seven to eight, which we just done. And then we're going to back it down a little bit, lower some weight. We'll get like nine to 10 on the second one. Oh, we oh, count man. the weights? <laughs> <laughs> so everyone at home, how do you count two? Do you count two or do you only count one side? Paul only counts one side. Piss me off. So Louis, Louis it's probably the right way, but Louis counts the, <laughs> the total weight. I just want to make it simple. And I just count one side. So three plates here. I would just say 60, because it's just it's so much easier just to put 60 on each side. Whereas Louis wants to do 120. You have to divide it by two. I'm supposed to be good at math because I'm Asian, but I just like to keep things simple. <laughs> I'm Asian as well, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Nice. Two. Three. Four. Come on. Five. Six. Let's go. Seven. Come on. Eight. Let's go. Drive. Come on. Man. Finish strong. Up. Let's go. Good. Come on. Oh, we'll have to go again. All right, so this is our last week of our mesocycle. And what we do to really punish ourselves for this last week is we're trying to beat our total volume. So we work out how much weight we did, how much reps we did, and that will multiply. So for example, 100 times eight reps would be 800. We're trying to beat the, the total volume from last week. If we fall a little bit short, which Louis has, this week, then he's gonna rest for 20 seconds and then he's gonna continue, try to get some extra reps so that we can beat the performance for next week. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Dead eyes. Fuck. And as you can see, if you've worked pretty hard at that first set, 
you're probably only gonna get like two to four reps out on that rest pause. So just to let you guys know, <laughs> during this mesocycle, I've got, we've got a, uh, a back specialization. So we're training back three times a week at the moment. We just trained it two days ago. And in two days time, we'll train back again. Um, and you forgot to mention yesterday we did deadlifts <laughs> and RDLs. Yeah, we did. Uh, so generally, like if you're a little bit more intermediate advanced and you're really trying to bring up a body part, you need to increase the training volume on that muscle group. However, at the same time, you would be wise to reduce the training volume on some of your stronger body parts. Um, you, you just don't want to like just increase volume because your recovery is just not going to be there. So uh, like I said, at the moment, we're smashing back three times a week. We'll do this a period of time, really try to bring up our back and then we'll shift the volume later on. Um, I'm going to go four plates. So in case you guys are wondering, like this first exercise we're doing, we're really trying to go for heavy load. This is going to be a nice like all round back exercise. We've got our overhand grip. But because of the angle on the bar, the elbows will be slightly tucked. So there's going to be some mid trap. There's going to be a little bit of that. There's no, there's also no support here as well. So you will notice there is a little bit of torso movement, which we will try to minimize. However, a little bit's okay because we're trying to engage some of the erectors. In the later exercises, we'll be having a bit more brace pattern where we're trying to really isolate. But this being the first movement, we're just trying to work real hard, get the whole back musculature fired up. So we're going to do two sets on here as it's going to be eight to 10 reps. Um, this exercise, when you're going to use an overhand grip, so this is going to work more the mid traps because the elbows are flared. As you can see, there is a chest pad. So this is going to really help us isolate and get some external stability. So what we're trying to do is have this on the stomach. We're going to allow the shoulders to round forward a little bit, get a nice stretch. And then we're gonna pick the chest up and really row the elbows back. So a little less erectors, which that first exercise had. Um, so this again is gonna be a bit more isolated compared to that first one. I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, even if I can, if I can get 10, I still need another one. I'll need like 12. <laughs> Which ain't gonna happen if I stay on this Yeah, one. I need like 13. <laughs> I'm, I'd go, I'm really unfit. <laughs> I'm fit, but I'm not fit. <laughs> no, yeah. us bodybuilders, we just look like we're fit, but far from it. <laughs> as long as you look like it. <laughs> I don't even look like it, bro. Half the time I've got my stomach out here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, oh, fuck off. The joys of off-season, bro. <laughs> the off-season is still leaner than some people's cut. <laughs> still got abs. Come on, bro. Come on, let's go. Good. Come on, bro. Oh, last one. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck. You using it? Just finished Sorry, the exercise. Unfortunately, didn't hit our numbers. And that's acceptable, you know? Like, I'm gonna have a, probably a, a few of you guys probably think that like that form was a little bit shifty as well, which I do agree with the, the form was a little bit dodgy, but you have to keep in mind we're on our last week of this training block. I believe we're week seven in now. And if you're pushing yourself, your form will get a little bit sloppy towards the end. Of course, we're trying to keep it as clean as possible. But again, if you're training really hard, it's going to get a little sloppy. We make sure that every time we start a new training block, that a form is mint. And then as it goes on, again, the weight will increase, your form will get a little bit sloppy, and that's okay. You'll have a deload, you'll pull it back, and you'll go again. All right, guys, so next exercise we're going to do is a cable high to low row. So the cable starts obviously higher, and what we're focusing on is driving the shoulder down and pulling the elbow to the hip. You'll see that the arm stays nice and close to the body. This is so that we can really target the lats, as one of the primary functions of the lat is to extend through the shoulder, shoulder. So again, we're gonna drive the shoulder down, pull the elbow to the hip, really isolating our lap. One more mark. Yeah, one more. All right guys, so we're gonna do our working sets now. We've got three sets for this. It's gonna be eight to 12 reps. We're gonna do one arm at a time, but you'll notice I'll do one arm, Louis will do one arm, and then we'll swap, and then I'll do the other arm, he'll do the other arm. It's because we're really unfit. No, nah, I'm joking. <laughs> um, in all seriousness. But that is actually the exactly. issue. <laughs> in all seriousness, even though it's a separate arm, you're gonna be taxing your nervous system. So we wanna give our nervous system a little bit of a break before we go straight into the other one. Otherwise, what you'll find is you'll, you'll go really hard on one arm, and if you swap straight away, you just won't get the same output on the other arm. So um, that's how we're gonna do it.
Guys, if you need supplements, hit up Supplement Mart anywhere in Australia. Use my code Pauly for a discount. Cheeky plug. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, the Olympia's not gonna fund itself. <laughs> Never easy. Never easy. Never easy. Let's go. We love it. <sighs> Drop it. On the water. Like a little bit less. Yeah? Yeah. Huh? I'm gonna assume I need to do it. <laughs> I guess that's kind of what you want though in the, in the last week. You want to auto regulate, you should be lifting loads that you probably haven't Yeah. Ever. At least next time we start this block, we'll start a lot higher. Like the weight should be higher. Higher than the last time we started? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, not like higher than now. No, no, no. no. <laughs> we hope that we end higher than now. Yeah, yeah. Like I hope we, we hope, hopefully we can hit this weight like third or fourth week in. Yeah. And then come week seven, yeah. we're hitting just full stack. That's, yeah, that's pretty much what I was saying before. Like towards the end of your training block, things will get a little sloppy. And then you have a deload, start a new training block, pull it back a little bit, tidy up the form and then push again. So it's kind of like a two steps forward, one step back, tidy up the form, two steps forward again, etc. I think a lot of people will get uh, either one spectrum, they get too paralyzed with like keeping perfect form that they don't really push the load. Or then there's the opposite side where they just push the load too much and their form gets sloppy. So you need to learn how to toggle that. <laughs> so hard to fucking spot on the cables. That's beautiful. We look like each other, we same reps. So, a lot of people think we, we're fucking doppelgangers, we're twins. Including my parents. What do you guys think? You reckon we look, we look alike? Oh, my hair's, I got a haircut now. <laughs> it goes to say my same barber, bro. He's trying to look like me. Hey guys, we're gonna do a lap pull down. So overhand grip, keep the chest up and then drive the elbows down. This will work your lats, but it's actually a little bit more like tears major, which kind of gets confused for like upper lat. It will also work like a little bit of low trap, mid trap. So it's kind of a nice all round um, back exercise. I wouldn't say it's like the best for isolating the lat, although it's called a lat pull down, um, but it's still a, a good exercise. So we're just gonna do uh, three sets, eight to 12 as well. Um, so a little bit of extra volume to finish off the workout and then I will move on to biceps after that. The stretch and the contraction here is still sick. I actually really like this machine. It feels sick. I find it's better than the like, I think because it closes the gap, you're, you can really yeah. drive the elbows in. 
Let's go, bro. Nice and strong here. Good. Good. Let's go, bro. Let's go, come on. Come on, bro, come on. Go, 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 go. And again. That's you, go, 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 Be more, be more, be more, be more, be more, be more. Good. Yeah, for good rest, man. Pull, pull, pull. Come on, seven. Pull, 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 pull. And again. Let's go. Pull, 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 uh, the reason why I like unilateral is so that you can really line up your joints. So trying to line up your shoulder, your elbow, your wrist in a straight line. Uh, sometimes if you're like a little bit bigger or you have like bad mobility, trying to do two, two arms, you can't really like get the elbow underneath. And then if you're stuck in this kind of position, you're gonna put a lot of unnecessary stress on your elbows. So we're just gonna do one arm at a time so you can really line up properly. Uh, we've got four sets of this, okay, we, uh, this is the only bicep exercise I do the entire week, so we're really going to smash it out. The way we're going to do this is we're going to go for 10 to 15 reps on the first set. We're going to rest 15-20 seconds, and then we're going to do partial reps. So the partial reps is going to be from like a stretch position, and we're just going to come up as high as we can and try to get as many as we can out. This is just to help extend the set, but um, you're not really gonna get that many because during that first set, you're, you've exhausted the bicep already. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come on. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Up. Five. Four. Come on. Come on. Three. Up, 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 up. Two more. Come on. Last. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. Let's go, partial. One, two, come on. Three, let's go. Four, come on. Five, let's go. Up, six, six. So, we're using the prime machine on this exercise, and the beautiful thing about the prime machine is you can change the camber. So you can put the resistance at different lengths. So what we've done is we started at five, which is going to be like the beginning, the beginning middle bit here, which is going to be where you're gonna get the most growth and where you're kind of the strongest. We'll do the reps there, have that rest 
And then when we go do the partials, I'm going to change it to number four, which is more the, the end range. So whilst we're trying to get some more reps out in the partial, we'll put more of the tension up here so that we can actually extend the set and it's not as hard. Come on, but that says it. Five, six, easy, seven, let's go, bro. Eight, up, nine, ten, drive. Let's go. Up, let's go. Go, 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 one, some two, five as well. That's disgusting. Three. <laughs> oh, yeah. Four. Three. Seven. Four. Come on. Come on. So just finish up the back and bicep workout. It's a killer workout with Louis here. Um, I'm gonna head upstairs, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do some posing rounds, have a look at the physique. Uh, definitely the biggest I've been, um, sitting around 94 kilos at the moment. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm looking like. 